let's talk about re-renders again. Or more precisely, the use memo and use callback hooks in the context of re-renders. Those two are my least favorite things in React. One use callback hook leads to another, to another, and before you know it, your beautiful logic is just buried under this unreadable and undebuggable chain of use memo and use callback hooks. Have you ever wished to just get rid of them once and for all? If that thought crossed your mind, I have good news for you. Chances are you actually can. I can bet you almost anything that if by the end of this video you open 10 random components that use those hooks and take a closer look, you'll see that in half of those, the hooks are actually doing nothing. Don't believe me? Take a look at this code. If you see use callback hook used like this in your code, you can remove it. It actually does nothing. So does this one. In here, you can remove both react.memo and use callback hook. It's a double win. And here as well, completely useless and prevent nothing. Even this one is wrong. Familiar patterns, aren't they? If you can spot the problem for all of them, you're probably either in React team or spend your life debugging performance problems. For the rest of us who are neither, let's go through those examples step by step and understand what exactly is happening. But before, let's remember some things that are crucial for this investigation. First of all, why do we need use memo and use callback hooks at all? Both of them are very similar and they serve a similar purpose to preserve the reference to a value between re-renders. If we just declare an object or function inside the React component, it will be recreated with every re-render. And when React would need to compare those values between re-renders, it will think that the value has changed. Use callback hook can help us with that. If we wrap a function in use callback, the function definition will be cached and the on-click value between the re-renders won't change. And the same story is with use memo, only it caches the result of calculations rather than functions. Another thing to remember is how React re-renders children. If a component re-renders itself for any reason, React will grab all of its children, recursively go through them, and re-render them all. The important thing to remember here is that React doesn't really care about those components' props when it does it. If a child is there, it will be re-rendered, regardless whether its props changed or not. The only way to prevent this chain of re-renders is to wrap a component in react.memo. Now and only now will React stop before re-rendering this child and check its props. If even one single prop has changed, then React will continue with re-rendering as usual. With that in mind, let's start the actual investigation. And by the way, links to all of those code examples are included in video description, in case you want to play around with them by yourself first. First code example. So what is wrong with it? If you look closely, you will see that onclick callback is attached to a button and the button is just a DOM element. It's not wrapped in react.memo. That means that if the parent component re-renders, all of its children will re-render, regardless of their props. Memoizing on click callback in this case gives us absolutely nothing. Exactly the same story with the second example. Memoized on click is passed to a component that is not wrapped in react.memo. Same situation, parent re-renders, Item re-renders, use callback on, on click, does absolutely nothing. Third example. Although item is wrapped in react.memo, one of its props, the value prop, is not memoized. With every re-render of the parent component, it will change, and React will re-render memo item as it was not wrapped in anything. Both use callback and react.memo here are completely useless and do nothing. But those three are the easy ones. Most people will probably pick them up instantly. The fun part starts with the next two. So what is wrong with this one? On the surface, it seems fine. React component is wrapped in react.memo. It has only one prop 
and the probe is wrapped in use call bag. But what about this part? Memo item component here has children. And children, when they are written like this, are just props. This nice composition is nothing more than just a syntax sugar. I can even rewrite it with props explicitly and nothing will change. And when I do that, it's instantly clear. Item memo component actually has two props, not one. Let's revert it back to the nice syntax to remember the pattern. So the answer here is exactly the same as before. Component re-renders. Memo item component has one prop that changes with every re-render. And oops, both react.memo and use callback are useless here and do nothing other than pollute your code. Feels like the solution here is to fix memoization rather than removing it. Okay, let's take a look at the last example. This is very often how the previous example is fixed. By extracting children in a component and wrapping that component in the react.memo. And on the surface, there is nothing suspicious here. Everything is memoized after all. And yet, even this example is wrong. Let's take a closer look at this memo child to understand why. What happens here when I write it like this? What will be in the child variable? This is yet again a syntax sugar. This time it hides a function called to react, and this function creates an element. Element is not a component, it's just a component definition, which is essentially just an object that describes a component. The whole React render tree is essentially this giant object that references all components that need to be rendered, starting from the very, very top. So when we write code like this in children props of memo item component, we actually have a non-memoized object. Yet again, the whole memoization chain is broken. Memo item component will re-render every time and react.memo and use callback are completely useless. If we really want to fix it, we need to memoize the element itself, not the component. Which would look something like this. We would pull the child up into a variable and just wrap it in use memo. And now finally, all the props on memo item component are memoized properly and React won't re-render it every time. But why remove? Can't we just fix those memoizations instead? Well, technically, yeah, we can. But if until now you haven't noticed that it's broken, that means that in this particular part of your app, you don't actually have performance problems because of re-renders. So there is no need to fix re-renders either. You can just simplify your life and get rid of those hooks and react.memo instead. This is all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. As mentioned, all code examples are linked in the video description for you to play around with. If you feel like reading instead of watching, I write quite a lot about patterns like this and more in my blog. Don't hesitate to check it out and see you next time.